Hey guys, this is Grant at GX3 Reptiles. I want to make a quick video going over kind of the temperament and how to handle Philippine sailfin dragons. This here is my beautiful male. You can see all the fluorescent blues and stuff that he's got going on. And the males all will develop the blue coloring like that. Females will develop, if any, very, very little. And the males are what most people think of when they think of the Philippine sailfins. These guys are typically pretty easily handled in my opinion. They, I think they get a bad rap for being overly skittish. They're really not. They do get startled easily and they do get to recognize people. So if there's somebody around that they're not used to, they can startle a little bit more easily. But as long as they're around with somebody that they know really well, for instance, he knows me very well, I feed him and take care of him every day, he'll be just fine. But if somebody else was to try to handle him like this, he probably wouldn't calm down very well for him. With that said, when you first get him out of the enclosure, they can sometimes be skittish for the first maybe five to 10 seconds at the most. But after that, they generally calm down. They're very easily handled. I think Philippine selfins make a great intermediate uh, reptile to keep for the larger lizards. I think that they're a much easier lizard to handle and take care of than say some of the larger monitor lizards primarily because there isn't the huge risk of injury. Whereas a monitor lizard could get angry and uh, bite and tear through a tendon or ligaments and cause some severe damage, a Philippine selfin is really not gonna cause any damage. There, he might scratch me up a little bit with his claws trying to run away, but that's about all he's gonna do. And as you can see, they are absolutely beautiful lizards. Got that big sail there. And he's good size, so he is missing a few digits and stuff. When I got this guy, he was actually in really rough shape. His nose was just completely just destroyed. Um, you can see he never threw back some of the spikes on his back here. But he's been doing really well, and I've had him for several years. And he's a great guy, and I absolutely love working with him. And his nose there, completely back to normal. And as the as I keep giving him really good care. He just gets more and more beautiful every year, and he's uh, one of my favorite lizards in the collection. He's absolutely beautiful. Just a joy to work with. And he's going in the shed right now, so his colors aren't as good as they are when he's freshly shed. But they're really easy to handle, though, once you get a hang of it, the hang of it. And really fun lizards to work with and hopefully I'll be working with him for a lot longer and very excited to have some of his babies hatching out here next month in April so like us on Facebook and we'll be posting up pictures of that and maybe I'll be posting a video of the babies so thank you guys for watching stay tuned for more videos if you have something in mind you'd like to see post it down below and I'll see what I can do to get it for you thanks guys